Good evening everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Isaac Balls Nice and today I have a very special guest for you. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because we're about to go right in. So like I said, we're going to go right in on it. And right now, today, we're sitting here with Dr. Pipio. I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> Dr. Pipio. You've been studying the hobbits of the Mad Hornets for a long time now, haven't you? <laughs> yes, I have, Isaac. And uh, these things are so crazy little buggers. Uh, the first thing I want to let you guys know about the Mad Hornets is that they're deadly little things. Little guys, indeed. So then, what is it exactly that makes these Mad Hornets so deadly? And they all have little, little baby pieces. Everybody knows that bees have little tiny tallowackers, but how does that make them murderous? And that is the question. Last year, uh, Johns Hopkins High Hospital, um, they did a study on sexually frustrated female bees, and we understand that those are the ones that are the most aggressive. Well, that seems to work a lot of sense. So can you tell me now, what can we do to protect ourselves from these deadly killers? What I recommend, that's why I brought this with me, because if they do happen to land on you, this is about the size of the genitalia that the female bee is looking for. So what you do is you just, <laughs> just get those feet on there, you just land on you, just. <laughs> well, Dr. Pipion, I have to ask, if we don't have a wee little Johnson, what else can we use to defend ourselves against these monsters? <laughs> Dr. Pipion, you can't use a taser on here. My apologies, Isaac. Um, we need to defend ourselves at all costs. These things created the coronavirus. Did you just tell me that the Mad Hornets are responsible for the coronavirus? Yes, I did, Isaac. Yes, they, yeah, they did create the coronavirus, and they're from China, so they know karate. Well, alright, that seems to be all time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something. And Dr. Pipion, thank you so much for being here. Like always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and they all have little, little baby.